Now that your first term of university is in sight, orientation invitations are gonna start coming your way. Orientation isn't just one crazy day like in the movies, it's actually a series of events put on by Concordia and its student associations over the first few weeks of classes. One of the best ways to start your orientation process is to tour both Concordia campuses. New student tours are offered all throughout the month of August and the beginning of September for students starting in the fall term, as well as the months of December and January for students starting in the winter. A tour will help you break the ice so that when you come back to campus for orientation events, it'll all feel familiar, at least a bit. Here's a preview of the orientation event lineup that typically takes place every year. Let's start with the university-wide orientation events. The Student Success Center hosts a series of large and small-scale events designed to welcome students of all faculties to campus. These events will help you discover Concordia from an insider's point of view and build up strategies for a successful university career. And a little help getting back into study mode after summer or winter break never hurts. These events generally take place the week before classes start, so if you're already in Montreal, it's a good idea to take a few days off work or clear your schedule for that week. And if you're coming from out of town, plan to arrive in Montreal at least a week before the beginning of term. For students joining us from outside Canada, the International Students Office, or ISO, often hosts online pre-arrival webinars before the beginning of each semester. They also host an international student orientation event on campus at the beginning of both the fall and winter terms. The Concordia Student Union, also known as the CSU, holds a slew of welcome events open to the entire university community as well. Ranging from social mixers to informative workshops, the CSU's events typically take place during the first two weeks of class, so you'll have plenty of time to enjoy the festivities during your study breaks. Then there are the faculty and program specific events. Some departments hold orientation sessions to give detailed information to new students. Often they'll get a chance to meet their professors and see the facilities they'll be using before classes start. If your program does this, you'll receive a specific email invitation. Similarly, each faculty has a student association that hosts orientation events for new students joining them. Follow your faculty's social media accounts to stay up to date on events at the beginning of term, but also throughout your degree. Lastly, important for you to know, some of those student associations refer to their events as FROSH, but what is FROSH exactly? FROSH events focus on community activities like barbecues, social mixers, scavenger hunts, and big outdoor events. They're all about mingling and making friends with students in your new faculty. These events generally take place the week before classes start, and some may involve costs. With so many orientation events to choose from, it can be hard to keep track of everything. Luckily, there's an orientation webpage to help you explore and sign up for the full list of welcome activities. Go to concordia.ca slash orientation and keep an eye on your inbox for orientation, info, and invites. I'll see you soon.